Hey guys and welcome back to another part of the building series of my AOS Falcon 7, my super long range build. Today we are taking care of the electronics and hooking everything up to the frame. Let's roll the intro and dive right in after. Hey guys and welcome back to the channel. Today we are taking a look at the electronics of the AOS Falcon 7 build. We are starting with the ESC. We are choosing an Acon 55 amp ESCs. We have a bit beefier motors on a 7 inch build. Acon provides high quality ESCs and 55 amps should be ample for this one here. Also like in most builds it will live right in the center at the bottom plate. Main difference for this build, we have more space in a 7 inch frame rather than when building out a smaller frame. For protecting our electronics, we have a spike observer, 3 diodes flanked by 2 capacitors, which will live right between the DJI Air unit, our ESC and flight control board. Two battery connectors will be soldered to the Acon ESC, giving us the ability to put batteries in parallel. That has the advantage that we can use for shorter flights, uh, smaller batteries and then having uh, less weight and more agility, maybe for freestyle even, but for long range we can expand the battery capacity putting two in parallel 6 or 4S and then extending our flight time that way. If 4S possibly can really work on this frame or if it's just too heavy and the um, engines have just a too low KV value, we will find out, but I will try to make it work uh, in favor of efficiency, to have it really as efficient as possible, maybe flight performance wise a little bit on the lower end then, but 6S should work on lithium ions even with a lower C value. Another huge advantage is that we do not need to buy very expensive batteries for only this 7 inch frame build. We can reuse batteries from our 5 inch or 5.5 inch builds and they do just the same job in parallel. That's a clear upside in terms of budget what we are spending here. Another nice thing to have is that the Acons are right out of the box compatible with the JBF7 flight controller in terms of pin layout. The cable just goes right in and it's plug and play. With my previous build, the AOS 5.5, I had to solder the wires coming from the ESCs which was different directly to the flight controller and um, that was due to the fact that the pin layout was just different. Not a big problem but it's nice to have it plug and play and just have it out of the box working. For this long range build I'm using a Brain GPS module, hopefully a bit more robust, getting satellites a bit quicker, then we have a buzzer on board to have somehow a chance to retrieve it and finding it again when something goes south. And then we have the Crossfire diversity receiver with the redundancy of two antennas on board, giving us just a little bit more peace of mind. For the electronics everything is hooked up and we are mostly done. Just a few 3D printed parts are still missing, therefore the GPS module is living for now on the rear right arm of the quad. That will be rearranged when I have all parts and it will go in the back, same like the antennas. We will look at that in a future episode. And as always guys, thanks for watching, like the video, subscribe to the channel, that would be really appreciated. Have a great rest of the day. Stay safe and see you in the next one.